In today's section of the Torah of the Pasha of this week, starting Hamishi, which is today, the Pasuk says, Aser to Aser is Koltfua Zarecha, Hayoitse Asode Shona Shona. You must tithe all the produce of the seed that the field yields year by year. So here is the biblical commandment of giving Maser 10% of our produce and 10% of our earnings, of our net earnings. So the Tumore in Ta'anit, fascinating piece of Gemara, says like this, Omar Rabbi Yechanan, Rabbi Yechanan says, Why is the Torah writing Aser to Aser? Repeating itself, Aser, why to Aser? So he says, this is to teach us a message. Aser, that if you give your 10%, your Ma'aser, your tithe, to Asher, I God guarantee that you will be enriched. And the Gemara tells the story that Rabbi Yochanan found the son of Rav Loki, Rash Lakish, and he says, tell me something. So he told him exactly a pasuk, Aser to Aser. So he asked him, why does the Torah repeat twice the words? And the little child says exactly that. Aser b'shvil shetes Asher. You give and God will pay you back tenfold. So Rabbi Yochanan asked him, how do you know this? And the little child says, innocently, test him. Go and test God, and you will see that God says, This you're allowed to test me. Normally one is not supposed to test God, but God says, Give your charity, trust me, you will be repaid. So here's a beautiful story I want to share with you. This rabbi in the European community gets up Shabbat Parashat Re'eh, and he gives a beautiful, long explanation about the importance of charity, about the importance of tzedakah, and he quotes this Talmud, and he says, in fact, you get back 10 times more than what you paid. There sits this banker and says, what an amazing investment. If I get back eight, nine, 10% net return, I've had an extremely successful year. To be paid 10 times as much, best guaranteed investment. Monday morning he comes in, he calls in his treasurer and says, look, do me a favor. Take a million dollars and give it for this and this charity. He says, I'll do it. What happened? He says, the rabbi said, Shabbos and Shul, Aser to Aser, we are guaranteed $10 million profit this year, just from this own, from this charity. And he quotes him what the rabbi said. He said, Rab, sir, it's your money. You do what you want. Me, from a financial, as your financial advisor, it doesn't make any financial sense. But it's yours. You believe. Go ahead. You'll see for the next 12 months, every month we're going to get a certain amount corresponding to the total of $10 million at the end of the year. 850 and so on change. It says, wonderful. Ahead. First month, no, no, no. The sixth month, no, 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 no. I told you, forget it. You live in fantasy land. It's not happening. Just about an entire year passed. And this is Friday morning, the following year, Shabbos, Pashas, Re'e, and he knows the rabbis often repeat their speeches. And he says, if the rabbi will say this again, I'm going to stop him. I don't mind, I gave a million dollars to Dr. But don't. Tell us things that don't work. It's Friday afternoon, ready to go home. Suddenly the bank manager, the treasurer calls me, sir, something just came in and he looks, we just made a profit of $10 million. What a timing. Shabbos day, the rabbi gets up and he says, start his speech. Man gets up, he says, rabbi, can I interrupt you? Disrespectful, it's important, go ahead. What is it that you want to say? Says, Rabbi, you're starting now saying Aser to Aser. You said it last year too. And I want you to know, I did it. And I want you to know further. God paid me the $10 million, but he's not punctual. I had to wait till the last minute. Friends, God pays. Sometimes it might seem to us that he is not punctual. 
but he knows exactly when and how to pay us for the charity that we give, for the good deeds that we do. He knows when and how. And in this case, we're asking God, God, we know that you know exactly when Moshiach has to come. But please, even for not being punctual, it's late. Send us Mashiach today. We are giving charity. We are doing what you're asking us. Notwithstanding all the difficulties we are experiencing, as I just spoke to somebody who says, I feel like a bear. I've been hibernating for six months. But bears are hibernating in the winter, she says, and not in the summer. We are still committed with doing. So please send us Mashiach right now, and we will celebrate with you in the Beta Mikdash.